in these problems, we're being asked to convert scientific notation uh, to standard notation, the, the way we normally write numbers. Scientific notation is handy because it's a way to write numbers that are really big or or actually sometimes you can write numbers that are really small. We're dealing with the big ones right now um, in a way that's more compact. So this says 6 times 10 to the fourth power. That is scientific notation. You take some number and then you multiply it by a power of 10. If you want to convert that back to standard notation, you just move the decimal point of this part. So we've got six, so our decimal point would be right there. And you're going to move that decimal point, this number of spaces, to the right. Uh, so we'll talk about negative exponents another time. This is with positive exponents. So we're going to move it four spaces to the right. So one, two, three, Four. So there's my decimal point, and then I just have to fill in all those spaces with zeros. So this is 60,000. Let's try another one. 2 times 10 to the third. So I've got 2, there's my decimal point, and then I need to move it this many spaces to the right. So 1, 2, 3, and then fill in with zeros, and we get 2,000. Now, 10 to the third is 1,000. So really, this problem is 2 times 1,000. And we came up with an answer of 2,000. So that makes sense. So that is a little bit of work with scientific notation.